How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another day in Wisconsin where it's 80 degrees one day and it snows the next. Yeah, no, I'm being serious. If we come look at the weather forecast, it is currently 74 degrees, but on Monday we have snow and it's 30, 50, 40, 40, 40, 40 all week long. And if you remember, well, the Bronco has all of its doors taken off and the roof. This is a very different experience from what a convertible is because quite literally everything is open and not having a door there is a very odd sensation, especially when you're not used to it. So we have to go put all of that together and then we have a couple more things to do as well. So here we have the Bronco and I'm not gonna lie, putting everything on is a lot harder than taking everything off. So now we just reverse the process. We put the back piece on first. I'm gonna put the roof on first and then the doors. Rear piece is on, definitely the hardest piece of all of this, but let's get the rest of the roof on. And just like that, the roof is fully on, and now for the last pieces. The most tricky part of all of this is getting the doors on without scratching them. But there is a tip to doing this, and I'll teach you it now. You come over here to your tool kit, and you unzip this, and you come over, and you take this out. This is the most important part of all of this. This piece screws into this and holds your door into place. I tried getting the doors on without this piece because I didn't know it existed the first time I did it, and that was a horrible mistake because this piece is very, very important into all of it. You're gonna put your door on top of this once the door is in, and before you screw anything else in, you'll unscrew it from the top when the door is in, and the door will be in place for you to put your bolts in. It makes it 20 times easier to do all of it, and I think it's nearly impossible without this little piece here. Just like that, the door is on. It's so simple putting this on. And now that it's on, you just gotta get your hand in there and take this out. One screw, two screw, harness in, and the door is in. You can do that on all four sides. All right, so I have all the doors on in the Bronco. It takes a second to kind of get everything back on, but once it's on, it's not too hard, especially when you've done it a couple of times. This is my second time doing it, so I'm getting a little bit more comfortable taking them off and putting them back on. That rear piece is definitely the hardest piece and the only thing you really need help with. I have a couple of things to do, and then we'll talk about the title of this video, building my Bronco into like an ultimate overlander or off-road project. We've only done one modification so far, but I have a couple of things that I'm planning. Usually I don't like to say like, hey, I'm doing this or I'm doing this and then not end up doing it. But as of right now, I'm kind of planning something and I want some input. So that's kind of why I'm heading over to the channel and kind of talking about what I want to do before I even do it. All right, so we got the Bronco all parked up back at home. All right, so let's talk about the title of this video. I'm back at home. I'm kind of done with everything for the day. Building my Bronco into the ultimate off-road slash overland vehicle. Now, I have a couple of things to order in mind, and I kind of just want to lay out my thoughts of the build and where I want to take it. Now, the number one thing when you're doing something like this is the cost of everything. A lot of the things in these off-road overland vehicles are extremely expensive, so that's one of the downsides, but here are a couple of things that I want to accomplish in the next little bit here. Front and rear bumpers, obviously from factory, I ordered a metal front bumper that never arrived. I mean, I, I had my vehicle on back order forever. I probably could have waited an extra couple of months, but got impatient, I removed it, and I'm, I kind of regret it now because there are certain things you have to do in order to put the metal one on. You have to chop some stuff. It's, it's a little bit of a process, but I can always go aftermarket with a couple of different options. The plan is to do a front and rear metal bumper, both that kind of go all along with each other to do lighting on the front and the front grill to be changed. I want to do a Raptor style grill with the three lights, but I still want it to say Bronco. I'm not sure if anyone makes something like that, but that's kind of the plan. Then we go into the inside. There's a couple of interior bits and pieces that I want to do. Then as far as performance, we might throw a blow off valve on it just to get a little bit of noise out of the turbo, possibly cat back exhaust. But those are things that are going to come way later, including a possible tune. The main things I want to do are the cosmetic lights and bumpers. And the biggest thing of anything that I'm planning to do is a body kit. Yeah, ADV makes an awesome, not even a fender flare kit, a full on removable bolt on kit. And it looks absolutely amazing. It is like the best 
modification, hands down the biggest change to the Bronco that you can possibly make. And the white Bronco that they have done, I'll throw a picture up on the screen, is perfect in my opinion. I love the look of that, very simple, has lights, has the body kit on it, and it looks beautiful, and that's kind of what I want to do. Along with, I wanna add a possible roof rack to it, and some type of setup to add a tent there, possibly, to do some camping and whatnot. I think that'd be super cool. Definitely wanna do a roof rack in order to do a couple of like those uh, overland type modifications to it. I don't want to go overboard and add a bunch of like fuel, you know, fuel canisters, ladders, this, that. I want to keep it very basic, very simple because again, a lot of this stuff is extremely expensive and I want to put the money into the things that are going to make the most like effect on it. And then down the road, you know, we may look at putting 37s on it, doing a different, you know, wheel setup. But as of right now, I love how the factory beadlock wheels look. And that's why I got the Sasquatch because it has everything that I need in terms of the base platform. And when I feel like I need to upgrade, I can. But as of right now, I feel like all of that setup is okay. The only other thing, a big, big ticket item is going to be the axle. So the Broncos have weak axles because they don't have a soft front. So the way to fix this is to get a $25 to $2,800 axle kit, which is insane how expensive that is. But they are really, really solid, and it fixes any issue that you're going to have off-road. Now, I don't think I'm gonna use it that ruggedly. Is that a word? I'm not gonna use it that hard, you know, at least until I learn how to do more off-roading, and I don't think that'll be necessary yet. But I wanna do some cosmetic things that are going to help off-road, like winch the lights, the bumpers, and make it look the part, as well as down the road, I want to do the body kit, which is going to be really expensive, but something I think that's going to be worth it. Now, the reason I'm making this video instead of just doing these things is one, I want to lay out the build, kind of the ideas that I'm having, but also for any Bronco people watching this, I don't know too much about overlanding, off-roading. I know overlanding is technically not the proper term to use, but we kind of use it when we're going out and we put a tent up for one night. You know, that's not really overlanding. It's kind of just overnight can't overnight off-roading, I guess but people use the term overlanding for it. But I want to know your guys' suggestions, whatnot. I've been doing a decent amount of research, but it's always helpful to get opinions of the people watching the videos because I know you guys sometimes have some really good ideas. There are a couple smaller things that I'm going to add to the Bronco, but I want to put my money on the big items that are gonna make the most difference. I wanna make my money go the furthest they possibly can. But I'm excited for this. I'm sure you guys are going to be excited and once you guys kind of see my ideas come into reality, that's all I have for this video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, check out another Bronco video, and I will see you guys in the next one.